Today I'm going to show you how to make this simple step stool. Let's build that. Start out by cutting two treads out of 2x6 at 16 inches long. This is just the measurement I used, it doesn't really matter what you want to do. For the feet we're going to cut four pieces, two at four and a half inches, and two pieces at ten inches. We're also going to cut a back support at eleven and a half inches out of a piece of two by three. And you could use all two by sixes if you just rip this support in half. I'm just registering the two sides so I can make sure they're lined up when I put them together and they're mirrored and I'm going to drill two pocket holes in the 10 inch 2x6 so that I can anchor the 4.5 inch 2x6 to the side. So I'm only showing you one side but you're going to make two and you're going to mirror image them. If you want to clean up your pocket holes you can use a razor blade and just get rid of some of the burrs. It just makes it a little nice when you're painting. So using some wood glue and some clamps, I clamped the four, in, four and a half inch section to the 10 inch section and I used these two other clamps with some scrap wood to make sure that they're flush and then used the cross clamp to make sure they're tight together and just anchored them with two pocket screws. Like I said, you do this for both sides and you have mirrored images of each other with the pocket screws facing the inside. I just cleaned up the extra glue with some water. Now I'm going to drill the two pocket holes on the ends of the 1x4 so that I can anchor it into my two leg halves. I have my jig set up for one and a half inch board. So now I'm just setting up the marks for my pocket holes for my treads. And I'm going to put three pocket holes facing up on the high tread and the low tread for both sides, again facing the pocket holes to the inside of the step. Before I put it all together I decided to sand everything because it would be a lot easier now than trying to do it once it's all assembled. Now using a 3 quarter inch spacer I set the support block off the ground so that it would give the stool a little more stability that way it wouldn't rock around while it's on the ground and I just anchored that with some wood glue and my two pocket hole screws on each side. And this completes the base and there's your treads. Before I put the treads on I stained them. I lost the footage but uh, you can see them when they're finished and stained. Now that the base is done I just put two coats of white paint. That was enough coverage for what I needed. You could also do more coats or pick whatever color you really want. And once that was dry I uh, used a special technique for aging and weathering that I like to use. I just take some clear matte polyacrylic put it in a little dish and then I add a a little bit of black paint to it to give you this kind of blackish opaque then I used a foam paintbrush and I snipped some frills in it you could just use an old paintbrush and then just lightly wash this on until you get the right amount of coverage and it gives you this really nice grungy but not too dirty look just really looks like this piece is old and has been handled for quite a while. Once that was all set up I just put some glue along the top of my pieces and I clamped my treads down one on each side and once those were clamped I used my three pocket hole screws to anchor the tread to the top of the stool. If I was to do this again I would definitely move the bottom hole a little bit more towards the front because the, the back support made it a little difficult to get that screw in with the angle of the, of the drill bit or you could even leave the pocket hole where it is and just angle it a little different. And I did the same thing for the other tread and uh, just clamped it on and screwed it down but when I built my, tr my legs the the, the one on the right was a little bit bent so I ended up clamping both of these down and I screwed the left tread on first and then once that was anchored tightly I took one of my clamps off and I used that to 
pull the other side straight because like I said it was bowed so here I just kind of used the clamp to pull it a little bit straight and then I anchored that one in that way I didn't have this weird big hook on the side of my tread and that pretty much finished the finished the step scuffed it up with some 220 just get rid of any of the burrs from the painting and the the uh, stain might have some extra sawdust in it or something so I just cleaned it up I, then I applied two really nice coats of polyacrylic matte finish and once those were both done and dried the step stool was all set and it was ready to be used I think it came out good but hey it's not my stool so I mean I gotta see what the kid thinks and I think he liked it so here's the finished step so anyways thanks for watching I appreciate it I hope this project inspired you to go out and build your own step stool if you have kids or heck maybe you're even short and can't reach the top of your cabinets who am I to judge I'm only five foot seven so hope you like it hope you build this or something like it hope it inspired you to get out there and start making things if you like this project don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you have any questions leave it in the comments and also if you want to see more videos like this feel free to subscribe to my channel you and I DIY try and post projects there regularly really appreciate the support and I look forward to you coming back on the next video till then see you guys later